Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net and this tutorial is on how to remote access Windows 7 from Windows 8. So let's begin. First, we need to set up Windows 7 for remote access. So in Windows 7, click on Start, Control Panel, User Accounts. We're going to add a password to the user. Here it is. I have already created a user with a password but I'm gonna start from scratch and create a new user with a, with a password so click on manage another account create a new account remember you don't need to do this you just need to add a password to a user I'm starting from scratch name the user I'm gonna set him as an administrator and then create account you can leave him as standard user here is the user now I'm gonna create a password for this user just keep in mind that if you already have a user, you just need to create a password for that user. Perfect. Create password here. And that's it. Now I have the user as an administrator, password protected. Remember, it doesn't need to be administrator also. It can be a standard user. Now, right click computer and click on properties here go to remote settings make sure that it's on allow connections from computers running any versions of a remote desktop you can also select a user if you want to be specific about the user but there's no need once you're done click apply and OK I'm gonna click on cancel because it's already set now we need to know the IP address of Windows 7 so click on start search for CMD program and press enter here type ipconfig enter and this is our IP address of the Windows 7 perfect now with this information we go to Windows 8 in Windows 8 from the Metro UI just start typing remote desktop Make sure the apps is selected and you'll get remote desktop connection on the left here. Just click on it and type the IP address of the Windows 7 computer. If you were using a WAN, you will need to configure the firewall to enable port 3389. I have a link in the description box that will help you do that. And click on connect. Type the username and password that we configured for the Windows 7 remember and click on remember my credentials if you want and OK don't ask yes if you click on remember my credentials you don't have to put the username and password every time you remote access the Windows 7 here it is I'm remote access to my Windows 7 computer Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.